Hi there! As bird owners, we know that birds are highly intelligent beings that need mental stimulation to be happy and healthy. So today I'm going to give you a couple of ideas on how you can entertain your bird. Most of these tips will apply to all birds, goldfinches, canaries, parakeets and even larger parrot species. Before we get into it, if you'd like to see more bird taming and bird related videos in the future, be sure to like and subscribe. This video contains a lot of information, so don't worry about memorizing everything, there will be a summary at the end. Alright, let's get started! The first and best way to entertain your bird is to provide activities which your bird would do in the wild. In nature, birds spend most of their time gleaning and foraging, in other words, looking for food. You can simulate this in quite a few different ways. The easiest way to do so is to clip some salad, or better yet, wild food plants like thistles, teasels or cat grass to your bird's cage. Depending on the plant, this can keep your bird busy for hours. If you don't have time to pluck fresh greens every day, one subscriber had an excellent tip. You can simply refill empty teasels with niger Thank you JJ Westbay for this one. In addition to your bird's regular feeding bowl, you can also fill a bowl with beechwood chips and scatter some bird seed in it for your bird to dig up. Disclaimer, this will probably be a bit messy, but your bird will definitely have a great time. It's a very natural way of feeding since your bird has to work for his food and use his skills. Alright, on to the non-food entertainment. Many birds, especially parrots, like to shred things, so if you happen to use paper towels to protect your furniture from bird messes, you're probably already supplying your bird with a satisfying item to distract. If you aren't yet doing so, leaving out a paper towel can actually distract your bird from shredding more important things, like your homework or your tax return. Yes, I've definitely never used that excuse. If you want the double benefit of keeping your feathered friends close while being able to entertain them, you can buy an actual bird playground or a perch for your desk. I got one a couple of months ago and it's been one of the best things I've ever bought. Not only does it help eliminate bird messes around the room, but it also offers a variety of activities for the bird, such as climbing, fraying a rope, shredding the wood and sitting on a swing. Speaking of which, every birdcage should have a little swing, especially canaries and finches seem to love those. It's good for their balance and gives them a chance to exercise a bit even when in their cage. Some birds even use those swings to rock themselves to sleep. Finally, and of course, a bird should have an opportunity to bathe. A bird bath doesn't have to be complicated, it can be any bowl large enough for your bird to splash about in. Some people even take their bird into the shower using a special bird patch. I haven't tried that yet, but if you have, let us know how that went. And that concludes today's video. I've put a summary of these tips in the description box below, and I'll also link to some of the ideas mentioned. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Happy to be back. See you soon! Thank you.